She's got the usual snapping turtle attitude. She's just dramatic and this is what we like to see. Good morning, Ontario Turtle Conservation Center. This is a very young turtle. It was found in the wild, but had a fractured shell from being hit by a, a car. So it's just had some temporary tape put on. My name is Sue Carstairs. I'm a veterinarian and executive and medical director here at the Ontario Turtle Conservation Center. Our mission here is treat, rehabilitate, and release turtles that are injured or ill. We do identify them by number and we try not to name them. These are wild animals and they're going to go back into the wild so we want to respect that. This year we have admitted 1,451 turtles. Most of the turtles are admitted due to vehicle trauma so they are hit by cars on the road. When she first came in you could barely tell that she was alive. She was hit by a car. The car straddled her and scraped off a big portion of her shell right down to her spine. This whole area was missing and bloody. It was open right into her body cavity. Turtles feel pain just like we do. They don't have a voice, they're not crying, but you can see when the pain medication takes effect, they're just like, ugh. We x-ray all turtles when they come in and that's how we found out that she was carrying eggs. It's kind of neat because you can see all the eggs. These are all snapping turtle eggs. How wonderful that not only can we save her, but all her babies. So this little guy's working hard to come out. We leave them to just come out at their own pace. We couldn't have timed that better. If she hadn't come in, she would have died. If I had to give 733 a name, I would probably call her Spunky. She's just got that attitude back. And this has taken several months to get her to this stage. So compared to when she came in, it's night and day. She's feeling like she's ready to go. She just doesn't know that she's not quite ready to go yet. The fact that they can regenerate some of their spinal tissue and go on to recover from spinal cord injuries that no other species can, pretty phenomenal. When it comes time to release them, we scout out the closest appropriate body of water to where they were found. Apart from the beauty of, of intrinsically of them and their right to exist, we can learn so much from them and they're so useful to us in the environment, keeping that healthy. Watch for them on the road. They can look like rocks in the road, they can look like potholes, especially if there's a wetland on one or either side of the road. Just slow down and watch for them. 